today I have a little demonstration of hand layup. So this is an example of an open molding technique. So right here I have my custom lawnmower, hot rod lawnmower fender. All I've done is put wax paper over the top and I just tape the back. So we're going to lay up the fiberglass on top of this. The wax paper allows the fiberglass as a whole to come off of the mold pretty easily. So we've got a couple things going on here. I have my resin. So this is epoxy resin, two parts resin to one part hardener. There's no shifting the recipe with this. It's just what it is. It's a medium cure speed. So with this temperature indoors, it'd probably cure in about an hour, maybe 45 minutes of working time. Not going to need that much, though. We're just going to let it sit overnight to do its thing. I've got fiberglass tape, which is just an example of fiberglass cloth, right? So it's cut into handy strips. When you buy cloth, right, you get a lot of these rough edges that can be pretty difficult to deal with especially when your gloves start to get this resin on them. It's very sticky and it'll stick to all of these and they'll get all over the place. They'll get stuck to your gloves. It's just a pain. So tape is nice when you can use it. The downside to tape is that this edge called the selvage, right? This will tend to form a, a ridge after it's laminated that has to be sanded off. So I've got two inch wide tape, four inch wide tape. They're both six ounce uh, per yard uh, weight. And then I've got nine ounce per yard weight by axial cloth. I'm just going to use this because I have it laying around. Okay. But if you notice, these have the fibers running in different directions. So it's a little stronger. So I've got a glass mason jar. I like glass for epoxy resins because this stuff heats up while it's in the container if you don't use it quick enough. This heat will build up and it'll cause solo cups to just straight up melt. And I don't want to burn down the school today, okay? A popsicle stick for mixing the stuff up. I got a little roller for rolling out the fiberglass cloth after I get resin in it. And then I got a chip brush for spreading it out. I've got gloves, I've got safety glasses, and a pair of scissors to cut more tape if I need it. So that's all we're going to need to get started. So I'll glove up, get my safety glasses on. So the first step, I've already done, got everything I need. I don't have to go anywhere to get anything. After that, I'm going to dispense these, stir them up. Uh, one minute is a good rule of thumb for epoxy resins. So I've got my epoxy mixed up. I've got a good bit of working time. I'm going to set it down. This popsicle stick, I want to make sure I leave this on wax paper because this resin that's left over is going to be a really strong glue. It's difficult to get off any surfaces. So I'll just leave it right on my wax paper. I'll get these out of my way so I don't bump into them. The first thing I'll do, I've already cut these to a convenient length. I'm going to place them on my open mold. It's okay if the fiberglass cloth goes over the edge a little bit. That's pretty easy to cut with scissors or a jigsaw or even a razor blade. So I got my cloth laid down. One technique is to put resin on your mold first so your cloth tends to stick so it doesn't get squirrely. I'm not going to do it that way because I want to clearly demonstrate the wetting out process. You can see the cloth right now is white, right? We know it's just plain cloth, cut it with scissors. When I go to apply resin, it's going to turn clear. And that's how we know it's soaked up enough. So this is a piece of fiberglass cloth. 
that has resin on it, if you notice, it turned clear. Right? So this does require some pressure to really get it into the cloth. But this is what you're looking for. One technique people use is to take the tape and get the resin on it and then apply it to whatever you're doing. That way you know it's completely soaked. Or, like I'm doing here, you just apply it straight to your mold. So this isn't as noticeable because it's over wax paper, but you can trust me, it's getting wetted out. So I'm just going to work from the middle to the outsides, applying resin. So this is completely saturated, it's totally wetted out. One of the downsides to the open molding hand layup process is that in order to saturate this, you kind of have to put too much resin on. So there's excess resin in this thing. So I can't really save the resin, but I can prevent it from being too heavy by just rolling it out. It's probably hard to see, but there'll be resin that gets pushed right out of there. You only need the amount of resin it takes to saturate the cloth. Anything extra is just excess. They make lamination rollers that have special gaps in the roller so that you can reuse it and it's not too difficult to clean. And this thing you just run over to try to push out air bubbles. Right? So this is our first layer. Typically in a layup, you'll have more than one layer. So why don't we add some biaxial cloth? I'll just place it on there. We've already got resin, so it's going to stick pretty good. And just with hand pressure, it'll start to wet out because, like we talked about before, there's a little bit too much resin on that first layer. So in vacuum bagging, you could take this whole thing, put it in a vacuum bag, and the bag would press down on this. It would simulate, you know, somebody working on it all day with a scraper. So it would take that extra resin and spread it around pretty evenly and give you a pretty good surface finish. This side isn't going to have that great of a surface finish because it's being done by hand. Whereas the inside of it will have a pretty good surface finish because I've been pressing up against it and it's a very smooth surface to start with. So just from that excess resin, this biaxial cloth is almost completely wetted out just with hand pressure. One thing with fiberglass, you got to be careful with the edges. You'll catch the little frillies and like we talked about before, they'll stick to your gloves and it's just a, a pain. You can snip them with scissors, but if the resin has already been activated with uh, two part, both parts or the initiator, they can make your scissors stick and you'll never be able to get them open again. So while we're here, I'll just go ahead and use the rest of this cloth. So here is our semi-finished product. It's got to cure, right, and it'll harden. If you could see this surface, probably not, but it's got some little ridges where the tape is overlapping. That's got to be sanded out because it's fiberglass tape. So in the end, it will be something like this, right? You can clearly see the tape. It's pretty strong pretty light and easier than making my go-kart fender and the English wheel four or five times.